Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So don't forget for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys. I want to come on here and do an update on the whole Takashi 6 9 situation. As you guys and I've been keeping y'all up to date with everything and shout out to Pedro9. He sent me some more tea earlier today. So if you guys do not know, as of yesterday, Takashi 6 9 did what a lot of people said that he would end up doing. He basically told it all and he pled guilty to nine charges. So this entire situation is crazy everybody's talking about this they're calling him a snitch the internet is going nuts y'all go ahead and check out these videos i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary brooklyn rapper takashi 69 pleaded guilty to federal charges admitting he participated in a violent gang he also pledged to cooperate with prosecutors the rapper whose legal name is daniel hernandez said he joined the nine tray blood gang in the fall of 2017 he says he helped them try to kill a rival gang member last March. Prosecutors say the gang carried out acts of murder, robbery, and narcotics trafficking in Manhattan, the Bronx, and Brooklyn. The indictment also said each gang member was required to participate in at least two acts of racketeering conspiracy, which could include murder, robbery, extortion, or drug distribution. The plea deal could allow Hernandez leniency at sentencing. He was facing a mandatory 47-year prison sentence. Matt Uris for CBSNewYork.com. Niggas is busters, man. The air I come from, you couldn't tell on a nigga. These niggas telling on niggas, straight busters. Yeah. I look like your auntie, but that nigga in there acting like your auntie, telling on niggas. Snitching, working with the government. After the government shut down, the nigga decides the nigga decides to work with the government. <laughs> you get new gangbangers, but I swear to God, man. I swear to God, this new gangbanger shit is, is robotic to me. Pole crater. How much time y'all think cuz gonna get for snitching? Well, down and down now, man. Every, every, what everybody keeps saying is snitching. Talking about damn near probation or something now. <laughs> you gonna get probation uh, for snitching. All right, so you guys just saw those videos. So people are trying to figure out, you know, what made him want to tell. Why did he turn over on Treyway? And you know, this was his crew. This was his gang. You know, he joined the gang just last year. And so basically, what's being reported and DJ Academics has been talking about this now for a few months. But if you guys don't know, I'm um, about a month month and a half ago DJ Academics and Takashi 69's baby's mother Sarah they got into it and basically DJ Academics kept yelling out July 12th July 12th which is also my little cousin's birthday happy early birthday to you cuz anyways <laughs> so he basically goes on Twitch and he's like blasting her and he's insinuating that Sarah slept with Shadi and that's the reason that's what really caused a lot of the fracture in their group so I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video of DJ Academics um, basically talking about this about a month and a half ago check this out don't be putting it up and deleting it neither I'm on that next of all July 12th let's get straight to it I heard straight up you fucked one of your niggas Man, what's up? Let's talk about it. That's I ain't hear from no blogs. I ain't hear from nothing like that. That's what I heard. I heard there might be wiretaps that confirm it. What's up, baby girl? Let's talk. What's up? If you, oh, that's what she, you on that right? Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. So we gonna talk now, right? Let's talk. You talking about clapping, right? Let's talk. So who? What would you do? You ain't gonna address that. That might be why you ain't getting calls. You might be getting calls. What's up? Let's talk. You might be getting phone calls. I can tell you that's a fact. A couple of days ago, you could have been in the media if certain people ain't shut, shut, shut certain shit down. Let's just keep it at that. So, you doing all this extra shit? I've been telling you. If, if you want to talk, we could talk. 
All right, so you guys just heard what AK had to say. So yesterday, he ended up taking to social media, and Pedro sent me this screenshot, and basically DJ Academics is saying, I'd feel shitty as well backing up someone who smashed the same niggas who tried to kill the father of her child. The dude found out the truth while listening to wiretaps in a cell, but what do I know? So that's what DJ Academics said. And now it is being reported that 6 9 found out the truth about his baby's mother sleeping with his friends via jail by the same guys in his circle that, that were plotting to harm him. It's not like he just snitched just to snitch. He really didn't owe these guys any more loyalty because, again, like I reported, you know, over the past few months, he was, you know, set up. He was kidnapped. He was shot at on that video shoot. And all of this was coming from his own inner circle. And then the fact that it's also come out that, you know, his own baby's mother was smashing shoddy and we saw videos of her and shoddy you know kikiing it up and you know on instagram live and people thought that was really weird back then like okay why y'all hanging on tight you know if that's your baby's daddy's homeboy what are y'all doing live together like that makes no sense and so you know do i have proof that they fuck no but dj academics clearly does but Again, this does seem to be her character because just a few weeks ago I reported that she was now dating Benny Bates, which is another member of 6 ix crew. This is another one of his homeboys that she's out here kissing and dating. I'm not hearing too many bitches. <laughs> I don't think I want to be. I don't think I want to be some And a lot of it is for social media attention. A lot of it is to go viral. But at the end of the day, that's still his friend. So if she can date Benny Bates, I would not be shocked if she smashed Shoddy, okay? But with that being said, I also have to be fair. 6 9 has done nothing but disrespect this girl. You know, I've gotten all types of tea spilled before he even got arrested about him whooping her ass. But on top of that, he cheated on her numerous times, not just with the girl Jade from the Nicki Minaj video shoot, but with other women. I told you guys that he had another woman pregnant. The one woman has since given birth. We talked about that a few weeks ago. So he has another daughter with this other woman. So not only was he cheating on Sarah constantly, he was also having side babies on her. So, you know, maybe this is her way of paying him back by sleeping with his friends but like I stated in my video at the end of the day that's not a good way to pay people back because at the end of the day it just makes you look like a hoe okay that's how society looks at it you know the guy can cheat and do all types of wild shit the female does the same thing folks look at her like a hoe this entire situation is insane that clout chasing ass lawyer he's back with some more information and the update so y'all can go ahead and watch his clout chasing ass once again for the hundredth time he is not Takashi 6 ix lawyer he just basically trolls courtrooms and he gets the tea, okay? So he just trolls the courtroom, takes all the notes, and then he jumps on social media and spills the tea, okay? And I'm here for it, bitch. Y'all go ahead and check out what the lawyer had to say. Check this out. Wow. Pled guilty to nine counts. Nine counts. I gotta say, this is an L for the defense. This is an L for defendants, man. Nine counts? Really? This guy was involved in nine counts of those armed robberies? Nine counts? Uh, and yeah, now he's gonna, uh, he's gonna have given the government information about his participation in nine counts. There's no denying that. Um, and in exchange, the government is gonna give him what are called point reductions and recommendations under the federal rules of criminal procedure. The government might even discuss with him the possibility of bail. Um, they can, you know, sentencing will be probably in the early part of next year. It'll be a long process now where a lot of people issue a lot of reports. Maybe Kanye West will have a letter of reference for why 6 9 should get a good sentence. Um, wow. I just, I'm still walking to the office from my meeting earlier. I haven't even got a chance to process this. Wow. At Lawyer for Workers. Uh, stay tuned for... What will happen is the government will consider releasing him pending sentencing. The probation department will meet with him, meet with people... 
who have information about him and they will issue a report. The judge will decide on his. All right. So you guys just saw what the lawyer had to say about the whole six nine situation. You know, he may get out sooner. He may not. But this is definitely causing a lot of controversy because, again, all these guys did dirt and now he's ready to, you know, snitch on everybody else to save himself. And Sarah right now is very worried. She's scared that her family is going to be in danger because of his actions and what he chose to do. Because, again, if they can't get to six nine, they may harm her her, the daughter, or the mother. So this is what Sarah is telling to TMZ. Go ahead and check this out. If he came back to you and said he wants a relationship with his daughter, how would you feel about that? I don't feel like he's in the space right now. And so I feel like he's in a space in life and a solid situation. I, I can't feel comfortable allowing him to bring whatever he has with him into my daughter's life. That my job is to pe protect my daughter at all costs. Initially, I just think it's disappointing. How okay. come? Um, cause I expected way more out of the situation. It's just sad, honestly, to see all these men dragged into something that's really ugly. I've been with him seven years and the fucking, the fame that he's had within a year, the success is just sad to see how it's going now. It's just disappointing and it's sad. Do you feel that you and your daughter are at risk? Um, in a sense, yeah, absolutely. He left, he did what he did. He made his bed, now he has a lie in it, but he didn't think of how it's, it's going to affect others. He's only thinking about himself in the situation, so. I mean, I'm left to pick up the pieces. All right, so you guys just saw the video, Sarah. So like I said, this is what happens when everybody wants to run around here being gangsta gangsta, trying to go viral, looking for social media attention and validation. You know, all these guys were involved in fuck shit. And unfortunately, you know, when you decide to live a certain lifestyle, you have to realize that there are consequences that can come with that lifestyle. When you decide to be about that life, um, be prepared to be about that prison sentence, okay? Because, you know, in this world, they don't play. And especially when you're a minority, they will throw you under the jail so this entire situation is crazy it's unfortunate but hopefully it's a cautionary tale to all these up and coming you know young folks who want to get into the industry and want to be rappers you can you know it's okay to be a square okay it's okay to be legit it's okay to rock the straight and narrow I'd rather be a square any day and have my damn freedom than to be sitting here you know what I'm saying doing more time than I done lived okay and that's just true tea you know they're all under the age of 30 and they're looking at really really serious time but again they also you know commit a lot of really serious crimes so that's the unfortunate part of the situation is that this guy you know he got himself wrapped up in this gang shit you know what i mean trying to look gangster and put on a persona for the internet and all this stuff has crumbled in less than a year like fame bought him nothing but just devastation stop chasing all these waterfalls trying to look for something bigger and better because sometimes you can fall off the damn cliff and drown okay literally so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning 6 9 his baby's mother um basically you know allegedly smashing shoddy and that's why he decided to snitch and tell on all these guys he felt like he didn't owe them any loyalty being that they were plotting to kill him they were smashing his baby's mother do you agree that in this situation it's okay or do you feel like snoop and the rest of these rappers oh well you know you chose to do dirt with them a rat is a rat is a rat let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.